Hello, this is Leo Kormanek with Running Rehab. I'm gonna go over an exercise today for the serratus anterior, which is a key muscle of the shoulder. Basically, any shoulder injury pretty much comes down to the fact that the shoulders over time rotate forward and collapse in the front, creating a lot of pain in the front. A lot of that is due to a lack of actual activation of this muscle down through here coming off of the back of the scapula or shoulder blade. It's called the serratus anterior. It's designed to hold the shoulder blade down and pin it towards the rib cage. If that muscle is not doing great or not very strong, then other muscles will win, like the strong pec, and pull the shoulder forward, limiting motion in the front and creating a lot of pain in the front of the shoulder and even in the back as well. So basically this muscle, the serratus anterior, is critical for pretty much any shoulder injury. Torn labrums, rotator cuff tears, biceps impingement, bicep tears, just a lot of different things. So one of the hardest things about this muscle to, to, to treat and to actually rehab is to find it. Because most people don't really know how to activate this muscle or really you know, do much to even really turn it on or, or, or like I said, activate it. But one of the cool things we can do is because the serratus comes off the back of the shoulder here and it wraps into the obliques through the torso, if we incorporate the obliques, we'll actually get a pretty good activation of this muscle itself. So what we'll do, we'll be in a side bridge position here and try it on your good side first, just so you can actually feel the motion. And then what you're gonna basically do is get up into a side bridge like this, where you're kind of pressing your knee into the ground, pressing your elbow into the ground, really trying to push through this. So you're trying to telescope or lift your body off of your elbow like lift your body off of your arm while pressing your elbow into the into the ground and then from this position then you'll just kind of activate it by rotating and then pretty quickly you're going to kind of feel this muscle activate so what i'm really doing is pushing my elbow into the ground and also trying to pull my shoulder back and down because again most of the stuff we do all day long is front and forward that it's critical that we pull the shoulder back and down. And that's what this muscle is designed to do, back and down. So again, when I'm in this position, I'm really focusing on that, pulling the shoulder back and down. And then here, just incorporate some rotations. You're doing really good if you can get to 10 reps of this, okay? So just a couple sets of 10 reps a day would be great. Now, if you start to feel pain in the front of the shoulder, here's what you're doing wrong. You're probably letting your shoulder migrate like that so really think about shifting it back, okay? And pressing into the floor through the actual elbow. All right, so that'll take a ton of pressure off the front of the shoulder. If you start to rotate and you start to feel pain in the front of the shoulder, just limit the rotation. So don't go all the way through, but you should be able to go all the way through, okay? So just even being in that position is, is really challenging for the core it's really challenging for that muscle and it'll definitely train the body to take a ton of pressure off the front of the shoulder. Cool?